Hello, so what is going on guys? It's Timothy Ryan here back with another video. So today we are going to be creating our um, rock, paper, scissor game. So it sh should be great. It should end up great, but I don't know if the if I know we're going to be going good for today. So, um, okay, I already opened a, a fresh game of open VS Code right in here. Um, so, um, I sh should create a new folder in my desktop just in a second, so, um, I'll name it our RPS, so you know that I already, um, created a game for it, so, um, okay, that opens file. I said open folder, so we should go to desktop, RPS, select folder, and it should reload open into that folder so um yeah mm. so we should go and close this first uh, let's create a new python file um rps dot pi so let's say first import I mean import random well I think I want to change my theme first um, I don't want my theme today, so set my GUI on. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. I'll just make this a little bit right here. So, um, I'll just go to my settings. There we go, so I'll just go, um, so go to one, save. I'll just Bigger, not that big, but I'm going to get zero, around two. That's super big. Oh, oh. So I'm going to go with more. Oh, no, one, just one. I said one. Just that big. I think that is now for the much okay. Um, no, I should, just, I should just go with zero. And then the text file. Oh, my thing. Always, I just want to resize my text now. I guess I can't exactly zoom, but it's okay. Um, I'll let it install this. I'll install it later on. So import random, and let's create a variable called AI equals um, AI equals random dot random rand int. We want to three. Then let's say right here, let's create a. Okay, let me just open this Spotify though, which is. I like to listen to some music, but you will not listen to some music because I might have a copyright for that. So I'm gonna turn off that audio right in here at OBS. Um, well, so um, let's create a variable right here. So user equals input. What is your choice? So save. Um, I'm actually running Windows 8 though. It's not that good, but it's okay. So um, let's not type. Um, um, let's create an if and else statement right here. If a i equals equals. If a Okay, equals equals three, I mean one. Um, um, versus I'm just type with vs equals um, paper, paper. I mean rock. Then type right here if let's just switch right here. If um, ai equals two equals I mean equals equals two. S equals rock paper paper and then if AI equals three VS equals Caesar um, 
so there it goes. So let's create another if and else statement right here. So if um, if AI equals equals I mean if AI equals equals I mean if VS I'm gonna create a VS right in here. VS equals equals and equals none or null or zero or something versus VS equals equals or rock paper rock and okay let me just move a little bit my mic right there and uh, and user equals I mean equals equals rock print it is a time then if the s um, equals equals paper and user equals equals paper print um, it is a tie then if again if in all statements b s equals equals I think I should use using L if statements but if is still um I think I'll gonna be um uh, it's okay to use if even though I think I'm shooting I should using L if so yeah. I'm gonna use it because it's working though. I want a shortest code as possible. So V S equals equals um, scissors. I think I should do it. I like this scissors. source source and user equals 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 C source print it is a tie so if I try to play that um, into my into my command prompt, which I think it would work or not. Right here, R V S. Let's see the outside actually. So if they rock, doesn't the close up. So I think we sh I should just side right here. Um, okay, so I want it to repeat though actually. So let's create a definition right. I mean a function right here. Main. Uh, then I'm gonna be here in. I'm uh, gonna be marking this all. Uh, then click tab. Then I'm gonna add. I'm gonna call main right here. And right here also main. So let's try. Where is it? Where is it? Um, there is rock. <gasps> yes, it, it does use it. It's a tie. Well, it's always going to be a tie because uh, we are not still coded the rock, paper, and scissors or something. So, um, yeah. Well, why it's always going to be a tie? Though. Must not be a tie though. Okay, so I think it's always saying it's a tie. Well, I think that's a pretty big problem. So, yeah. well, there. Uh, um, are you sure that's not a bag actually? Sorry, sorry. So next, what we're gonna be needing to do is uh, let's create an if and else statement for the. 
Yes, sir. I have a cuff right here. <coughs> so if vs equals equals um, rock and user. Okay, so let me just create a comma right here. This is for rock and vs. So if vs equals equals rock and user equals equals paper and we should type on um, the human win and let's type no let's create another if and not save it if vs equals equals rock and user equals equals um let's paper um it's rock i mean scissors Um, and we should add the color right here, print the AI win, I mean AI wins, not the AI wins, so AI wins. So we should create another um, color right here. Um, I mean paper, paper, and VS. So if VS equals equals paper, and user equals equals rock well, I mean yeah rock print AI win then if vs equals equals paper oh we should add a no sorry and user equals equals rock paper scissor print the human defeat I'm not good at spelling but the robots choke is AI, I think this AI, but I'll just leave us as that. So, uh, let's add a comment right here. Sister, sisters in VS, so if VS equals equals um, sister. And user equals 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 paper on rock print the human wins. I mean AI lose. And then F V S equals equals sister again. Because we are in the scissor, if and else they win, scissors, and user equals equals paper, print the, what do you call this? The AI, I mean, AI wins. I mean, you. So let's try to run that. It would work for me. I think it would work. There's your choice. Oh, I think I have a wrong spelling of that, but it will gonna be okay because it would actually think I would actually think it would, would work. So I'm gonna be choosing a rock. Yeah, I lose. Yeah. I always think we should print out the what AI chooses though, so um, let me just put it right here, 
on the print vs. So let's restart that. Five rock. It didn't doesn't print the I don't know why it doesn't print that, so doesn't print actually the Okay rock. Scissors AI lose. There it goes. So uh, rock scissors. I choose rock and AI choose scissors. Uh, okay, so AI lose. It's completely super freaking easy. So yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you actually enjoyed this video because I actually enjoy this video so much. I actually love creating some little bit of a project, and I think the next video um, I'm gonna add a GUI. For that because I'm actually wanting it to have a GUI but I mean the first time that I created that um, it does actually I didn't actually continue it because I'm I give up because I don't know how to you know something I don't know how so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it's been a while actually since I've actually posted a Python I mean I actually posted um, yesterday but yeah I think you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up, don't click dislike, and click the like button and don't be whack.